what we use on Pro Stalkers. This is a blended pressure recovery plate. You see here, this is seven degrees right here. That's exactly seven degrees spread coming out of that barrel. And then we mesh it into a semi-pressure recovery state. Now we have both anti-reversion characteristics with a low pressure area trapped under here. And we have our pressure recovery characteristics here going into the plenum. That's a pro stock into our version plate. Yeah. Just put that flat on there and actually blend the plenum out for it. It's not quite as good. I mean, this is probably 25, maybe 30 top it in power. Easy. If you put that on there due to the increased plenum volume as well as the reversionary characteristics. If you use the whole thing, you're going to get a lot of top end. Stuff like this, you know, that, that sticks down in the plenum like that, that may look really, really good on the dyno, and it might be really trick. But I'll tell you what, as soon as you shift, your face will go through the front window. It won't recover on the gear change. It stalls the fuel curve on the gear change. When the plenum velocity drops, you can't recover it because you've got this freaking barrel sticking down. Also, anything that extends into the plenum. You see how long that is? Anything longer than a half inch is not a good idea. You don't want to ever put this down, stuff down into the plenum because it will fuck the fuel curve bigger than anything. See, this plate actually sets down into the plenum area. See, it's got a little shelf there. So only a quarter of an inch is actually sticking up above the plenum. And then, put this on there. So you only have three quarters of an inch sticking above the plenum. The rest of that's sticking down into the plenum. All right, we got this thing finished up. This is about as straight as you can get them. The top's on. And this, you can see it's real tight through here. It's wider this way. So the air wants to go to the outside runners. Uh, it's a little thin. Right there, just a little hole. You need to lay some epoxy in there and out on this outer wall, this one right here, and re powder coat this thing, and then it'll be done. This wall right here is only 150 thick all the way up, so it needs something on the back.